are going to talk about George in detail mm. in a second. But were you a fan of Wham growing up? I was a massive fan. Oh, me too. Massive. I loved Wham. I go to I went to his concert. You know, thought I was going to marry him. Had the posters. Favorite yeah, song? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, probably uh, I don't want your freedom. That's from yeah. Wham. Yeah. Gosh, and when you think what came from those initial thoughts, there. we're going to talk about your tribute in just a moment. But before we do, just have a look at ours. Here we go. Uh, Please. Singing. When I was born, and they slapped me on the body, I didn't cry, I did a scale. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's a big laugh, you know, we don't, we don't get up there and, and say, look at us, you know, aren't we sexy and everything. We do, but I mean, it's a joke, you know, we, re we see the funny side of it. <laughs> Why do you think the critics give you so much? It's stick? because we're probably the only band at the moment who are totally unashamed of being screamed at. Maybe it was slightly unfortunate that I became well known so young, because I think had I gone for it even four or five years later, I might have avoided some of the, the problems of my career. Faith, the way I looked in the videos and stuff was, was pretty much sad as it is, that was pretty much how I was walking about day to day. <laughs> I was so confused about my sexuality and other things. I, I suppose I was prone to depression around loneliness because it is very lonely if you're surrounded by people it's cool. but you're not really surrounded by anyone. So much to lose. And what we have what was he like? What was he like? Strong, <laughs> fat, ugly, spotty. Yeah. yeah, it's all trying to get this ugly duckling image across. Yeah. It? When do you turn into the swan? Well, you know, this is, <laughs> this is, this is what we're uh, waiting to see. It's quite a big yeah, it must be quite really hard yeah. for you to watch that because obviously you're very close friends with George. How did you meet him then? originally um i admit first and foremost like most of us i'm a fan so um when i became successful with the spice girls we were at um this radio award ceremony at lunchtime and i remember trying to shake off the other girls thinking i want to go up to him but not with them <laughs> <laughs> lose them i think i pretended i was going to the loo and um and i went up to him and i tried to give big flirty eyes and it just sort of didn't work i was like oh and uh but he gave a speech about losing his mother and i'd lost my dad and i it was you know when someone's that honest it gave me that feeling i don't know of connection i really identified with that mm -hmm. and so we became friends and you know obviously i found out that i wasn't his cup of tea in that way but you know and he was do you know what in life i didn't see him all the time but he was one of those people that if you know who your friends are when the, let's say the chips hit the fan mm -hmm. that you he stood up for me and he took me in i lived with him when i had my first child and also when i left the spice girls i lived with him so moments when i felt vulnerable yeah big moments yeah mm. he stepped up for me and also with music i'd go and say what do you think you know, so, you know, it, it definitely affected me when somebody, he meant a lot to me, yeah. he really did. And how, how honest was was he with you? Brutally honest. Was it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think I actually really appreciate that. If yeah. somebody says, oh, that's not so good, or what, what are you doing? Mm. Um, yeah. And what, what did he say, about, you know, around that kind of the, the Spice Girls time when you were Yeah, he was, he was always very feet on the ground about was everything. It? He wasn't one of those, I think he was saying in that documentary, it comes through that, you know, he wasn't, he wasn't into the fame. Mm side of it and I saw that with him yeah. and I appreciated that and, and what you know we're discovering now of what a generous person he was incredibly generous he was with me and the relationships he had with people around him you know mm. he was a family man but he also loved he treated everyone with respect mm. he really did and the terrible news of his death was a huge shock to everybody yeah but I mean for you Jerry it must have been absolutely absolutely awful what where were you when you when you heard the news um then? i i was it was obviously it was christmas day and i had unwrapped some presents mm. from him yeah and so i was thinking oh i'd like to see him in the new year and um yeah so i, I was it was night time but you know what it is it's one of those things that even when i see the footage of him you think oh my god i can't believe he's gone mm -hmm. you know part yeah, of me goes yeah. there's not quite digested it mm -hmm, mm -hmm. weird and i mean 
recently, as far as this music and this record is concerned, how has that kind of helped you? And how did this record actually come about in the first um, place? It's been amazing, actually. Um, OK, so it's, the whole thing is very bittersweet because, you know, I was pregnant like you and all very hormonal and yeah. sensitive. And when I got that news, I, I was in the middle of writing music and so I put all my feelings just down, you know, just wrote the lyrics and a bit of melody and, and then I created the song with my, some co-writers and... Um, but then I, I played it to the rec uh, record company with some other songs and they said, oh, we want to release that. And I was just like, really, like, really? And so I normally that's when I would ask George, what do you think? And um, he's not there, so I went and asked someone who'd worked with him, a producer called Chris Porter, who'd worked for him with 30 years. He'd worked on Wham, Jesus for a Child. Yeah. And then he said, I, I think this is great. Let's, you know, ring up Shirley Lewis, who was his longtime backing singer. She's amazing. She is here tonight. Yeah. And I'm girl crushing on her. She's so talented, but got amazing energy. I understand why he, you keep... Because he was in a band. When you're in a band, it's nice having that camaraderie. Yeah. Mm. And so having great backing, backing singers that are good, really good... Uh, their talent, but also their energy. Yeah. And so th um, she and along some others wanted to be part of it. These are people that have sung on all the songs that you would know. Father Figure, mm -hmm. Jesus for a Child, Cowboys and Angels. They're so talented. Mm -hmm. So it was just an amazing gift. Yeah. And it's, it's a seal of approval as well. In yeah. Because you say you felt unsure about releasing it. But yeah. They're all on board. Yeah. It gave me the courage. And actually, I haven't really, I, I put my hands up, I haven't released any music for a long time mm. because I actually went through a period of saying, what do you think? And he goes, leave time. Because, you know, I wanted to jump from the hot pants girl, do you know what I mean? Which we loved. <laughs> <laughs> but to, to get into a more What's mature art, yeah. artist, yeah. Yeah. I was thinking, how do you, do you do that? Because he's made that jump. And so he just said, leave time. And so I think by putting my toe in the water, and because this song is not, because it's about him and it's for us, yeah. Mm. And you know what it really taught me? For anybody that's lost anybody, there is great healing when you all come together. Mm. I actually feel better and joyful from working with these wonderful people. Yeah. I feel like something has lifted, I think, yeah. yeah. Well, you talk about those wonderful people. They are with us tonight, they and we are. can hear the yeah. secret to those wonderful tones right now. I don't want your freedom. I don't want to play. occur to me you know as well as these amazing people I went on this little pilgrimage and I met up with Esther Ranson oh yes and she told me about how generous he was about yeah, childline yeah he gave all the royalties of Jesus to a child mm. to childline and then Stephen Fry and the record the, the profits from this record that I make will go to ch childline you're gonna yeah and then Stephen Fry, he said to me I met him the other day he went do you know what he was raising money for Terence Higgins trust and he said that George pulled him to a side and said, you can have all the profits from, from Britain of, ladies and gentlemen, the, um, the collection album. Of, yeah. I said, he just said, well, I didn't know that. No. So, like, wow. Well, Jerry and the fantastic band we heard would be performing Angel in Chains for us a bit later on. <laughs> 